Welcome to A Fistful of Dice. I'm Matt, and today I thought I'd make a quick video about um, some cool stuff I picked up at my local Half Price Books. I usually go up there about once a month and uh, check out their gaming section, so uh, we're going to take a look at uh, what I picked up. Alright, so like I said, I usually go up to uh, my local used bookstore about once a month and uh, peruse their gaming section. Used bookstores are a great way to pick up um, you know, kind of older gaming books that you might not have um, that are hard to find, and you can usually pick them up for a song. So, um, so the first thing I got um, is the Conan role-playing game RPG book. And um, this is uh, OGL, so it's uh, D20. And I'm a huge fan of uh, Conan. I kind of collect... Conan books and memorabilia. Uh, he's a uh, a character in books that I just I really really enjoyed, and I just think he's pretty cool. So, um, and I like Robert E. Howard, the author in general. So, uh, this is like a really cool book. Uh, I mostly got it, you know, just for the fact that it was like ten bucks, and I really like Conan. But you know, I might actually get some use out of it because it is OGL. Um, I could potentially use some of this stuff uh, with Pathfinder or if I ever wanted to do like a, a Conan like one-off campaign or something like that. So there's cool art in it and stuff like that. So uh, yeah, I think it's pretty cool. I'll go ahead and show you the back as well. So yeah, so it's a 50 book that I picked up for 10 bucks. So the next things I picked up, and these aren't gaming books per se, but um, they're still fantasy related. Uh, I picked up the Conan Chronicles. This is a uh, collected story book that I actually don't have yet. Um, I've got a few collected uh, Robert E. Howard uh, Conan storybooks, and I think between them, I've got pretty much everything that's ever been published uh, by Robert E. Howard pertaining to Conan. So, and I actually I, th I think this is a really cool cover. It's got kind of silver, on it, and I just think it it looks kind of cool. So, pick that up. Um, and then the other thing I got book-wise was Shadow Kingdoms, The Weird Works of Robert E. Howard, Volume 1. And uh, this actually doesn't involve Conan. This um, I think there's a couple stories with Solomon Kane and one with Cull. Um, but this is mostly just because I really, really like Robert E. Howard. I think that he's a cool writer, and I like a lot of his stories. So uh, The next thing I picked up is the Forgotten Realms campaign setting for 3-5. Um, I got this uh, mostly because I'm running Pathfinder right now, and uh, we're going to be going to the Forgotten Realms here shortly. So, um, Also, I just got this because I really, really, really like Forgotten Realms. Uh, it's the first setting that I really played in and got to know uh, reading all the books. Uh, I really feel a connection with this, with this setting over other ones. I just think it's a very rich... Um, diverse setting that has lots of different opportunities for adventure. And um, I just like the, the people, the peoples and the places of the Forgotten Realms, and this is actually a really neat book, um, both uh, for the game, but also just for anyone who's who's sort of interested in the uh, in the Forgotten Realms in general. So, um, yeah, I picked that up for, I think this was 15 bucks. Oh, this was 10 bucks. This was 10 bucks as well, so... Anyway, so that's pretty cool. I might they've got a bunch more uh, Forgotten Realms campaign books for three five. I might pick up a couple more. There's like races of uh, Faerun, the Underdark, things like that. Finally, and this is the most exciting thing. I actually almost missed this. I saw it on my way out. Um, the Forgotten Realms campaign setting box for uh, AD and D second edition. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, open this up and show you what's inside. Now, this box actually came with stuff, extra stuff. Um, so this is uh, Elements of Ecologies Appendix 1. Uh, this has a few different things in it. Um, for use with AD&D, uh, this actually didn't come in this box. So whoever sold this to the used bookstore included a couple freebies in there. This is a freebie as well. Uh, Terrible Trouble at Tragedor, an adventure for four to six players, levels five to eight. So uh, that that was not in the uh, original box. So that was also got that for free. So this came with a grand tour of the realms, 
which is, uh, you know, basically all about the Forgotten Realms and Faerun and the different peoples and places. Very similar to the to the three five campaign book, but this uh, this is for AD and D, and it's got you know drips on the cover and stuff. So that's really cool. <coughs> this here is sort of a, a game master guide for the Forgotten Realms, running the realms. There's a Draco Lich right there, which is super cool. And this just is sort of GM stuff for running a campaign in the Forgotten Realms. Shadowdale, a book on Shadowdale, all about it. It's actually a really thick book with uh, maps and adventures and very cool stuff. Now, uh, and then here's some notes. Uh, whoever sold it left these in there, and uh, apparently they were writing some orcs and some hobgoblins and some goblins and uh, the characters that were being played were Felreen and Kelsic but then he's also got stats for uh, Dritzt on this side so uh, this is what I was most excited about was the maps I'm a huge fan of maps and because of the Forgotten Realms so much it was really cool to be able to get a bunch of these maps um, so I'm not going to be able to spread them all out, but um, basically they, together they encompass the entirety of, of the continent of Faerun. Um, I, my favorite uh, area of Faerun is, is the Sword Coast, um, and this right here has most of the Sword Coast in it. I just like, uh, like Neverwinter and Waterdeep and Luskin and places like that. So uh, I might actually get one of these framed, I'm not really sure, but... Uh, I really like maps, so. Uh, and then it came with a bunch of these um, campaign trackers. Now, what you would do with these uh, is you would you would uh, sort of put them over the map like this, and then you would sort of track where the party was going. And you can you can write on this with uh, erase markers, but it's basically a good way to um, track the camp the the these progress, um, where they were at, what they were doing, things like that. And the box actually came with three of those. Now, I'm not sure if the box originally came with three or if these are extras, but so I got three of those. And then I've got kind of a cool set of different um, symbols and holy symbols things like that from the Forgotten Realms. So these were probably like sort of like references that you could show the players like and then you see, you know, the symbol of Bane, you know, and you could you could show them that. So actually that might be the symbol of Bane. I always forget. That might have been uh Tear or Torm. Anyway, so I got that for fifteen bucks. I was really excited about that. You know, I I, I don't know if I'll get a lot of actual in-game use out of this box. But just for nostalgia purposes and the fact that I really, really like the Forgotten Realms, um, I thought that was really neat. And if nothing else, this is going to be something else that I can add to the game shelf that will give me uh, inspiration when I'm looking for it. So, 